Our friend Mason, probably freaked out by the idea of getting married soon, found this remote river to raft in search of ski lines. There are better places to gamble, but since he can't ski in Vegas, this is his twisted idea of a bachelor party. We're floating the length of the Tashinshini River through the Yukon, British Columbia, and into Alaska, ending in the St. Elias Mountains. Oh yeah, as far as we know, this river is frozen. Maybe Vegas would have been the right choice after all. We got some jungle jams going on this afternoon after lunch. It's been good vibes, nothing but good vibes. The mountains look big. Um, we still have only seen them from pretty far away, but from what we've seen, I think the scale and size of things is going to be, you know, a new, a new experience. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Call it beginner's luck. The river had thawed and our first week drifted by. We moved every day, spending more time hauling gear than anything else, really. Usually in a dark drizzle of rain. The thought of clear skies, big lines, and the opportunity to set up a base camp kept us going. Trying to pull off a raft to ski adventure has some inherent challenges, like rafting and skiing are opposite seasons. So the best you can hope for is bad rafting and bad skiing, and so far it's been great rafting, so we'll see about the skiing. Honestly, the vibe of the trip is hilarious. I've never really been on a trip like this before. There's just 10 of us, everybody's pretty stoked. Everybody's personalities get along. So we've got our ski zones. Our first option kind of sits just down the river here. We're gonna kind of set up camp there for four or five days and have some potential storms moving in. So I'm gonna hurry down there today and see if we can get set up and ski some stuff. Basically the whole mountain has slid in the last week or so after this big storm and I'm really questioning why I decided to come on this trip. 